if we do not talk about this World Cup final without this man. How are you? Taylor Twelvin, I'm fabulous. Really psyched for this big final Sunday. A little bit of surprise, right? Yep. First timer, Croatia. Yep. France, third time in the World Cup final. What do you think will be the difference maker in this? It's actually a really good question, Linda, because when you look at it, Croatia's actually, because of the three knockout round games going to extra time, they've actually played 90 more minutes, an entire game more than the French national team has. And on top of that, they got one day less rest. So naturally, I want to look at you and say, guess what? Tired legs is going to play a huge factor. But that's exactly what I said going into the England semifinal. Croatia completely debunked that with England looking like the more tired team. This is all about France living up to expectations. They had the disappointment in 2016 European Cup final in Paris at home. I think they've had a chip on their shoulder since then. First 25, 30 minutes. Can they use that advantage and put pressure on Croatia, make them chase the game? If not, then I'm thinking we're looking at a stalemate, and this game may end up in penalties. Whoa. Croatia, as you mentioned, a very good point. They've played uh, more minutes, have had less rest, and we do that. We analyze that. When we're talking about championship games in other sports, we do that all the time, and it could be a factor. France has the experience. They know what Croatia is about. Croatia is not going to sneak up on them. So all of that being said, I need your prediction. I think this is France's to lose. So I think France pulls it off. Now, I think I want, from a neutral perspective, France to get an early goal and have Croatia chase the game. Quite honestly, Croatia could get the early goal and France chases the game yeah. either way. But I think those tired legs are going to come into play. But more importantly, I think the chip on the shoulder and the French having that pressure on them, I think they live up to it. And I'll give you a stat. Paul Glenn Conte have started 18 games together in the central midfield. They haven't lost a single game. I think 19 will come on Sunday. People are going to love this because they love this dynamic. The World right? Cup final. I'll the give World you. Cup final and the underdog against a team that has much more experience. Uh, Taylor Tolden, thanks. No problem.